One of my favorite appliances I've probably ever bought is right there, and that is an air fryer. And I'm gonna show you a quick recipe on how I cook these fresh caught trout that I caught a couple days ago and cleaned up, and how I'm gonna use the air fryer to do that. And the recipe that I'm gonna go over today is a garlic, butter, and herb trout that is gonna knock your socks off. And there is a key secret in this video that's not only gonna make this taste delicious, but it's also gonna be the key to having a frustration-free trout dinner. All right, so first things first here, I'm gonna get a plate here. Um, I've got my trout. I'm gonna get a paper towel and get this really dried off. So I'm gonna get one of my fillets out of here. Delicious fillets. If you're wondering how I caught these, um, I did a video on exactly how I caught these, and I will link that at the end of this video. So I'm gonna rinse this off real fast and then bring it over here and dry it off. Here's my trout filet. I'm gonna get that really dried off really well on the outside. Um, I did go ahead and already had these cleaned up and scaled and all that stuff, so they are ready to go. And you just wanna get that dried off so that it's not slimy and nasty. So now let me get my seasonings and everything I'm gonna need to prepare this trout. All right, so first thing I'm gonna need here is I've just got some unsalted butter. And the reason why I like unsalted butter is I like to be able to control how much salt I put in things. So I'm gonna set that right there. Next is gonna be some coarse co kosher salt. I just love this for everything um, for as far as cooking goes. And the next thing I'm gonna have here is this extra virgin olive oil. It's really simple because it's in a sprayer. And the thing I like about this is it doesn't have any propellants or anything, no additives. It's just extra virgin olive oil. Next is gonna be some onion powder, garlic powder, and some rosemary. Now normally I would like to, I would have rather used fresh garlic if you have it available, but I ran out and I just realized it. I'm gonna spray the outside of the skin with a little bit of olive oil spray. Then we're gonna sprinkle on a little bit of kosher salt. We are wanting to cover both sides of the fish here. Then we are going to take our garlic powder and sprinkle some of it on the outside. So we got one side done there. Let's do the other side. Then we are gonna give it a little bit more of a spray just to kind of keep that really moist because you kind of dried it out a little bit with those spices um, and the onion powder. And then we're gonna add our rosemary. A little bit of rosemary, a little bit of rosemary. So the key to this recipe is inside this trout, you're gonna have the spine and then you're gonna have these pin bones on the inside here. Um, the key problem I found when air frying it is this inside really wants to dry out. So I kind of lightly seasoned in here with a little bit of just the garlic and the rosemary. And then I'm gonna give it a coat of this olive oil. And then I'm still gonna even add in some slices of butter in here. So there's one. And then for this other one, we're just gonna chop one in here. And then we're gonna chop it in half. We're gonna take half of that. And what's a, that fat and that butter is really gonna help keep the inside of this really moist so when it cooks, that that inside doesn't all dry out. Um, I like the outside to be nice and crispy. When that inside is really moist, it's gonna be make taking those bones out really easy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my air fryer. And what I wanna do is go ahead and preheat it. So I've got, this is a really cool air fryer. The um, thing I like about this one is, is it's got two sides so that I can use one side to cook my fish in and then if I want to steam some veggies or whatever, um, it's, I can do that in the other side. If they're interested in this one, I'll link it down in the description. And those are Amazon affiliate links. Help out my channel, especially help me pay for gas money right now. I'm going to set that to air fry. I'm going to set it to 390 degrees for time. So the trout actually needs to cook for about 14 minutes. So I'm gonna set it to 17 and hit start. And what I'm gonna do is let that go from 17 down to 14. Once it hits 14, I'm gonna put the trout in there. 
you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing because I'm going to have more recipes coming out soon. All right, we are at 1430 now, so I'm going to open up this side here and I'm going to take my trout and I'm going to go ahead and gently lay it in there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cook for about seven minutes and then I'm going to open it up, take a look at it. I'll probably make another spray of this olive oil on the inside of the trout to keep it extra moist and flip it over. All right, so we are a little bit past seven minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of here, take a look at it. It's looking nice and crispy down on the outside, still moist on the inside. Um, I'm going to give that a little bit of spray of that olive oil, give it a little flip in there. We're going to flip it over. We're going to slide it right back in and let it finish off cooking. All right, so we're done here. Got everything done, so let's pull this out. It's going to look out. All right. All right, so look at this fish here. You got a crispy outside. The inside is still really moist because you put all that butter and oil in there. And, uh, but look at that, the outside of that fish. So here we are. So let's take a look here. Key thing is when you do this is you get that inside too dry. See how that just like peels off? And then as you put your fork in here, I can, I can peel that meat right off those bones. And if you get the inside of that too dry, all those bones are gonna stick to the meat and it makes it really hard to eat. So let's take a bite here. Mmm. The meat is buttery, delicious, flaky. You got the little bit of the crispiness on that skin. You've got the delicious flavors that come from the seasonings that you put on it. I'll tell you what guys, you cannot beat that. Just like you cannot beat Subscribing to Rhino Joe Outdoors and checking out my future videos that are coming up. I'm gonna have more cooking videos. I've got more of these trout videos coming up. And I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you found value in this video, please consider hitting that like button. Because I'll tell you what guys, if you do not follow those steps and keep the inside of that fish moist, it is a bugger to eat. And that's a lesson I learned from experience trying to cook these fish in the air fryer. As always guys, don't forget, get outside, do something awesome. Take somebody with you if you get a chance, and I will see you in the next video.